regreso aquí en Auto 060 y como les decía, estuvimos hace un par de semanas en el, el Full Line Drive de Volkswagen para los modelos de 2014, estuvimos en Napa Valley eh, y bueno, probamos, eh, tenían casi 50 vehículos para probar entre ellos eh, algunos de los modelos europeos que en el siguiente segmento vamos a estar ahí con el uh, test drive que hicimos con el Sirocco R, un auto realmente fabuloso que muchos extrañan que quisieran ver acá en el mercado de Estados Unidos pero que bueno, por algunas razones eh, de negocios que ya les explicaré más adelante, la Volkswagen no los puede traer. Eh, probamos, como les decía, en, en el show pasado ya les eh, le contamos todas las, las novedades que tiene Volkswagen para el 2014, pero una que se nos quedó y es una tecnología que es muy importante, eh, es el, el sistema CarNet que está debutando para el 2014 en eh, varios modelos de la Volkswagen y para eso hablamos con Frank White, que es el gerente general de lo que se llaman Connected Services de la Volkswagen. Así que vamos a escuchar la entrevista eh, con Frank y hablamos un poco más, lo explicamos más adelante. Hi Frank, uh, thank you for having us here in uh, California demonstrating a brand new um, accessory uh, service uh, technology in the, all the Volkswagen models for 2014, right? Absolutely, It's, thanks for having me. So it's called the CarNet, right? CarNet. Uh, explain a little bit. I think it's a, a system that is in other manufacturers' cars, but this has unique uh, advantages and, and, uh, and, and features, right? Yeah, CarNet is what we say we're human and car connect. Uh, what we did was we looked around the industry. Um, this is our product offering, which positions us strongly in the space for safety and security. Uh, we also have a family guardian package, which focuses on creating boundary alerts and speed alerts. You can create green zones and red zones, and when the car enters or exits that zone, you can set up a text message that'll go to your phone. So you're a bit informed as far as where your teens are, what they're doing. Um, and then if you set a speed alert and they exceed that speed, then you'll get a little text message that says car exceeded the speed. Okay, um, so that's pretty cool. So, But nothing happens in the car. Like, So nothing. the person who is driving the car and exceeding the speed limit or the boundary doesn't know. Doesn't know. Uh, the parents will most likely say, we're watching you uh, it's, within it's, the range you're at and have a safe have a safe day and if you need any help, call us. <laughs> it's a pretty cool tool for uh, educating kids, basically, right? I mean, it's, it's just a maybe tool. Maybe for valet parking also? Yeah, uh, no? for valet parking, possibly you could set that up. I mean, for parents, it's just a tool to know that, you know, things are going well with their children. Yeah. And Volkswagen lately has been emphasizing a lot of safety in the cars and you guys got uh, like top top safety plus uh, ratings from IHS. So this is an addition to all that other technology, right? Yeah, this this is just another tool that we have in our vehicles to enhance the safety for the for our customers. Uh, if they're in a time of need in an accident, like all the others, the airbag signal will go out. Uh, what we have done is we've embedded a module into the vehicle. You don't need your cell phone. You don't need another device in the vehicle. The system works on its own. It's in, fully integrated in the vehicle. Uh, we also have a navigation enhancement feature. You can access it through a customer's owner portal, through a mobile app, or even in the vehicle. Press the button, get some directions to where you may want to go, like a Mexican food restaurant or a, a you know a, a grocery store, and they can send that destination right to your navigation. It's just a simple button press to hit start, and your navigation routes to it. Yeah, all these uh, communicating communications. Uh technologies in cars are getting uh, into an issue of uh, getting drivers distracted. Right. This one has, uh, you were just did a demonstration for us here, so you can just press a, a button and you will be talking to somebody and ask for directions, ask for uh, any help that you might be needing or they can even tell you something's wrong with your car and all that, right? Yeah, uh, you can schedule your service appointment. What was really important to us was the human interaction. Uh, you know, it was you're driving down the road, your hands are on the wheel, your eyes are on the road, you have a dialogue with somebody and you know they send your destination you get you can actually take a look at it and say you know what that looks like it's really the right place to go or if, if not you can ask them a question because they're still on the line and yeah. they can say you know what maybe we'll find something something else for you but this is someone that has been trained that has a lot of information about the yeah. car and that uh, can really direct you to the right places. I mean, it's yeah. not like your friend, like it's in his <laughs> no, no, it's, <laughs> his back. No, it's not. No, it's not. His it's garage, not my buddy's like, hanging out in the exactly, garage. Yeah, yeah no. Uh, it, they're trained call center agents. Uh, the call centers for information have a different set of training around the call centers with our roadside provider at Allstate. So that's a separate call center that focuses primarily on roadside assistance. And then the third one is the emergency call button SOS 
you can manually press that. And those are also call center experts that focus in uh, around emergency situations. Uh, just to be able to dispatch the best possible help they yeah. can give you. And also, in, in, in an event of an accident, the, the system will connect directly with the, yeah, absolutely. With the authorities and, yeah. and, and, and emergency yeah. services and all that, right? And what it'll do in, in, in an accident, uh, as well as with the roadside button press, we send the location of the vehicle, the lat long of the vehicle, so they know exactly where you are. And even in the worst case in an accident where you're unconscious, and you cannot communicate with a call center agent that dials into the vehicle, they know where you are, they can still send help. So someone's going to help you uh, regardless if you have a conversation with them or not. Yeah, and they know if the airbags exploded and everything, all they the systems are on. Stuff. So they have a lot of information in advance for the yep. first responders to like really help you faster. So yep. very, very quickly, um, the system comes for in every model for 2014 and what's the cost of it? Uh, it's offered up on all the two four, 2014 models except the Touareg. Uh, based on the vehicle, it's trim level SE on up. Uh, example, the CC, it's 100%. Uh, the cost, you can pay monthly. Um, we set it up to be one flat fee for $199 a month, but that does include the navigation. A month or a year? I'm sorry, a year, <laughs> not a month, a yeah. year. Uh, so for that year, it does include the navigation feature. If you look at our competitors, they actually charge extra. Uh, on an annual basis uh, just for the navigation enhancements. We made that just simple pricing, $199 a year. You can go into multi-year packages, two-year, three-year, five-year, um, and those are obviously a little less per month if you go yeah. into a longer they, term. But, but they come up with like six months? Uh, yeah, there's a six, month, with. there's a six month trial period, uh, and when that trial period expires, you like the service, you can you can subscribe to it and continue the service of CarNet in your exactly. vehicle. And like in other uh, systems like like this one, um, there's going to be updates and like constant. I mean, it's a challenge. Oh yeah, this is only task because technology yeah. goes much faster yeah. than cars. Absolutely. Actually, so maybe yeah. the time that we're talking, there's already some of them. At, <laughs> we already have we already have things in the pipeline. Uh, you know, this is kind of a really cool technology we built into the vehicle. We consider it more of a platform. Uh, and it's, it enables us to do incremental updates, add more features to the car as we hit each model year. And then also it's kind of the foundation to really expand into some really cool features down the road, which we can become very customer-centric and use-case-centric for them. Excellent. Well, thank you very much again uh, for the, all the information. And uh, I guess people can find out more about it at www.boltsbagenusa.com? Yep, you can, you can go on to vw.com, get some information VW. on it. Uh, we're really excited. Thanks for having me. Excellent. We'll, uh, and we'll come back maybe next year to see the, the next generation of it. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks. Ese fue Frank Ray, el gerente general de Connected Services de Volkswagen aquí en Estados Unidos, presentando la nueva tecnología que se llama CarNet, un sistema que ya existe en otros fabricantes. Eh, está, por ejemplo, el OnStar de General Motors, que es eh, bastante similar. Toyota también tiene un servicio eh, que, que da esa misma asistencia a los conductores, Hyundai también lo tiene, así que una novedad eh, para Volkswagen, no así exactamente para los um, para el resto de los fabricantes, pero bueno, algunas algunos de, detalles eh, interesantes, como decía ahí, eh, la, la posibilidad de poder eh, limitar el, el, la velocidad y de hecho el, el, el área donde se maneja el vehículo, Así que este es el sistema CarNet de Volkswagen y como decía Frank, ahí pueden eh, tener más información en el sitio de internet de bw.com y ahí buscar por la opción del servicio CarNet. Eh, Volkswagen va a tener un par de presentaciones muy interesantes ahora en el Auto Show de Frankfurt que arranca en unos días. Eh, van a presentar dos versiones eh, eléctricas de modelos que ya existen. Una es el Golf, eh, que está celebrando su séptima generación, está debutando. En, en todo el mundo y también van a presentar el Up, el E-Up, es el auto compacto, un auto que ha lanzado la Volkswagen para competir con modelos como por ejemplo el Smart que también tiene una versión eléctrica, así que ahora en el Auto Show de Franco van a presentar estos dos modelos, como decíamos el E-Golf eh, va a tener eh, un motor eléctrico obviamente que con baterías que le van a permitir conducir hasta 60 millas, que es más o menos el, uh, el rango que están uh, teniendo la mayoría de los vehículos uh, eléctricos que están saliendo al mercado. Eh, eh, en, en, la, en el caso del Golf es un poco más grande, digamos, que el, eh, el Smart, 
es un poco más grande que el Fiat 580, también eléctrico, que ya salió recientemente. Digamos que se podría comparar con el Volt, pero el Volt, como sabemos, es un auto eléctrico que tiene además un motor de gasolina que proporciona energía cuando la batería se va quedando sin carga. En el caso del Up, que es un auto que todavía no, bueno, que se vende solamente en el mercado europeo, eh, el rango de, de, de distancia puede ser hasta de 87 millas, ya que, no, es, perdón, esa es la velocidad máxima que puede alcanzar. Eh, también puede llegar con eh, 115 caballos de fuerza el, um, este, este nuevo vehículo eléctrico. Así que para la Volkswagen está eh, apostando a una nueva tecnología eléctrica que de hecho todos los fabricantes de autos lo están haciendo por diversas razones. Una de ellas es eh, para acá el mercado de Estados Unidos cumplir con las limitaciones o, o con los eh, requerimientos que tiene el gobierno federal para que los autos rindan más eh, en promedio de toda la flota de sus modelos de cada uno de los fabricantes. Así que una nueva opción de los uh, modelos de Volkswagen que van a llegar eh, para el mercado, en el, en el caso del Up, para el mercado europeo, en el caso del Golf, posiblemente lo vamos a ver acá en el mercado eh, de Estados Unidos, el Golf en su versión eléctrica. Y cuando regresemos en el siguiente segmento de aquí en Auto 060, vamos a ir otra vez al programa que tuvimos con la, la Volkswagen para un test drive muy especial que hicimos con el Sirocco R, un auto que no se vende acá en Estados Unidos, pero que seguramente tiene muchos fanáticos. Así que no se vayan, esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota. 